I just get overwhelmed with gratitude for this opportunity of being able to follow my dream. Every artist who's painting has has such a wonderful gift to express themselves in whatever way they want. Hey, Passion Maker, this is Miriam Shulman, Chief Inspiration Officer and host of the Inspiration Place podcast, where I inspire you to profit from your art. I am so grateful that you're here. Today, we're talking all about creating online art classes. And to help me out, I have one of my artist incubator clients who launched her first online art class this year. The incubator program is for professional and emerging artists who are serious about taking their art business to the next level. So if you're ready to invest in your art career and join this dynamic community, go to shulmanart.com forward slash B-I-Z as in biz to apply now. Today's guest creates a form of expressionist abstraction inspired by the mystery of life and her need to describe it in paint form. Our guest realized her dream of creating a signature program, Abstract Art Academy, and that's what we're talking about today. Please welcome to the Inspiration Place, Kira Gilmore. Hey, Kira, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. I'm so excited to have you on. I'm so proud of your success. But bef- before we get into like the meats and potatoes of what we're talking about, why don't you tell us, this has been a long time dream for you to create this course, yeah? How long ago yeah. did you start thinking about it? Uh, well, I, I would say probably two years ago um, when I first started um, dabbling in abstract art I actually wasn't very good at that stage <laughs> as you well as we you all think. start we all yeah. start not knowing exactly yeah. so I was a real beginner and uh, I went through this process and a mission almost of discovering everything I could possibly discover about how to create really good abstract art and i took so many different courses and just kept absorbing and absorbing information and practicing and at the end of i would say it was probably only about a year really that i started getting um requests from galleries and i was getting commission requests suddenly my art was getting legs and it was just taking off and but it was really that process that I went through and the things that I learned that I realized, you know, without those things, without the the wisdom that I had learned really, really quickly, I wouldn't have been in that position. And I had this real strong urge to share that with other people. And I've always um, loved teaching. I I taught as an occupational therapist before and I've taught um, fiber art classes and different types of art classes before. So it was in it was in my my heart to really share this and so I've been thinking and thinking about it and it was all planned in my head and uh, I, I, I just didn't know how to actually get it sorted and get it out there but um, it's happened, it's out there, it's launched and uh, I can't believe that I've actually achieved it and I'm absolutely delighted that it's it's yeah, completed. it's amazing because um, so many people think about things and dream about things, but don't actually do it. So yeah. to be one of those people who actually see something in your mind and make it real through your inspired actions, I always commend people when they go through that process because you had to really g- step into places where you weren't comfortable and yeah become the beginner again. So just like you were the beginner at once with your art, you had to become the beginner about creating an art class, That's right? right? Yeah. I mean, I had absolutely zero experience of how to go about doing this. And what I did was I made sure, and same as with the abstract art, I went on another mission, how to create an online course and so what I did was I I sought out those people who could help me um, because you can't become wiser and more knowledgeable um, if you just are relying on yourself you need to learn from other people and experts and so I found the best people and I surrounded myself with these people I learned from them and 
that really helped me to um, allow my dream to come to fruition. It just it just magically appeared. But it was through um, seeking out these the the right people and learning from them. But I had to I had to really step out of my comfort zone doing this because there was a lot of things that I I really didn't even know I had to learn. Mm. Um, but I decided that just by taking one step at a time each day, just do one or two things towards the stream um, that eventually they would all come together and it would happen. Whenever I thought about the bigger picture, it was a wee bit overwhelming. I remember one of the things that you taught me and I still, it's my motto to this very day and it's basically just done is better than perfect. And that's what I do. And also I have another mantra inside my head. You can do it, you can do it. When things are stressful and I'm not sure what I'm doing, I just keep saying over and over again in my head, you can do it, you can do it, just get it done. Done is better than perfect. And it works, it really does. Um, I love that. Let's spoil the ending for people though, cause I want, I want them to pay attention to what you're talking about. And one of the ways to do that is by sharing the results. So first of all, just for everyone listening, this is her first online art class. And how many students did you enroll? I actually have the mem number memorized, but it's, it's more interesting if I ask 24. you the question. <laughs> okay, 24 students. And that was how many pounds? That was at six over sixteen thousand pounds. I think sixteen thousand three. Yeah, I had I have sixty one perhaps. Yeah, I have that number written down too. Yeah. Sixteen thousand three hundred and ninety one pounds. Yeah, not even dollars, pounds, which is I think twenty thousand dollars or something like. Yeah, I mean I just amazing. couldn't believe it. I mean amazing. My, my um my goal was to have ten people in the first cohort. Ten. Students. Wow. So you more than doubled it. You blew absolutely. your own mind. I did blow my own mind. <laughs> That's amazing. So are you feeling inspired by Kira's success? Because if so, I have some great news for you. I have a freebie you're going to absolutely love. In case we haven't met yet, I'm Miriam Shulman. I'm author of the book Artpreneur, and I'm also host of the Inspiration Place podcast. I have been a professional artist for over 20 years. Now, when I first started creating art video tutorials, which by the way, was about 10 years ago, I had no idea what video equipment or software I needed. And I was overwhelmed by all the options because I didn't want to waste my time. So I actually asked a tech savvy teenager to teach me what to do. And he found me affordable yet quality stuff that got me professional level results without needing to hire a film crew or an editor or go to film school. With the right camera, a few accessories, and some simple software coupled with some tips and tricks, I created videos that my students love to watch and learn from because they're high quality and professional without being boring or having to watch the paint dry. Now, 10 years later, I've completely streamlined this process to create amazing and binge worthy art videos in less time. And not only that, but I've sold over $1.2 million in online art classes. Now I share this with you, not to brag, but I want you to know what's possible for you too. Now I've dedicated my life to creating resources to help other artists succeed. So if you want to build your first online art class like a pro in 30 days or less, you got to get my five-step proven course creation playbook for artists. It's absolutely free. To get your hands on all of this, all you have to do is click below in the show notes or go to shulmanart.com forward slash guide. All right, now back to the show. It was such a baptism of fire, the whole process. But once I joined the artist's incubator, it was great because I had access to you, Miriam. <laughs> and Miriam is an amazing course creator. And um, I knew that, again, she was one of these people that I, uh, the experts that I sought out. And so I basically picked your brain for quite a bit of the time um, while I was was creating this course. I mean, you were there 
um, to help me with my sales page, my email sequencing, um, my even the tech. Um, because uh, technically, um, as artists, we kind of we're very afraid of that end of things. Yeah, I like to help my students more with big picture strategy. So Kira would one of the another benefits of the mastermind is she has unlimited email support with me. So she would send me um, a link to her sales page and I would record a video and send it back to her explaining what I think she should change. Do you remember anything that I told you to change? <laughs> loads. <laughs> oh, loads. Well, was but there anything was that surprised you that was like, well, I learned from this expert, I was supposed yeah. to do it this way. And I was like, well, actually, yeah. I think I well, can I, think of was, an example, actually, if you can't. There was, there was um, um, even, where I put the bio in the sales page was in the wrong place and I had too many buttons in the wrong area called action buttons. Um, so uh, yeah. Remind I remember was... one specific example and Kira took courses from lots of people. So this is not bad mouthing one person in particular. We're not going to tell you who, whose course it was, but, and I've seen a lot of people do this where they send the email out and it's the pre-sales email. And it's all about how excited the course creator is about their course. I'm so excited. I, I'm excited. I've been doing this and I've been working hard and I've been thinking about this. And what I told you, Kara, is nobody cares about how excited we are. Yeah. <laughs> all... I remember that now. Yeah. It's like, of course, we're excited, but nobody cares about that. Yeah. The whole point is to get them excited and what's in it for them and why should they pay attention to it? Why do people ask you? the most the people who are on the course now and um, they would have had difficulty with um, blending their art and composition and and struggling with things in particular so um, it was really helpful for me to put myself in their position and to kind of feel how they would feel and what they would want to know from me as a, a teacher basically when you have a when your course solves a problem and all classes solve a problem yeah. you think oh what, what problem does art solve? well they have a problem with with painting yeah <laughs> and their pain problem is like they're they can't blend they're making mud if you can say to them hey i see you i hear you i understand your problem if you can say that to them first then they'll listen to you because you can't sell somebody uh, an aspirin unless you tell them, I see you have a headache. Yeah. So that yeah. you need to recognize what the problem is before you offer a solution. Mm -hmm. And if it, if you're saying it's, if it's the wrong problem, then they're not going to want your solution too. So, and yeah. their problem is not whether or not you're excited. Yeah, they don't care about my excitement. No, they don't, right, don't. They, they want to be able to make better art and they want to feel more confident about making right. better art. They don't art. care how yeah. hard you worked on the class. No, no. They don't care how they excited you are. They just want to know what are. I can offer for them to exactly. help them get to a better place. So Exactly. Yeah, so it's good to to, um, to be able to bounce off the ideas and um, because I'm so new to this and um, so I'm just really, again, at beginner stage. So... I feel I'm getting more confident and the next time I launch and the next time I do my email sequence, you know, um, it, it, it's just, it's much easier when you've had this feedback and from somebody who's been creating courses for years. One thing that I know that was hard for you and hard for everybody is really having that confidence that you can do this and you can ask money a lot of money for it so t let's yeah. talk about like that because yeah i mean you hear the word artist you assume struggling artists and um, poor artists and artists who um is just not you know a business person and so when you take on this leap to become your you know follow your dream become an artist um you kind of you take on all these beliefs that are limiting beliefs and they kind of I which are optional as, they're optional yes. okay and this this is the thing when you recognize that they are limiting beliefs that they're not true 
and you decide, well, hold on a minute, you know, um, I am not going to take on all this rubbish from the past. Um, an artist has just as much merit as any other profession to do really well and start to value myself and value my art. And um, as soon as I realised that, I started to work more on myself to help me realise that because um, you can't help it. You know, sometimes it just it filters in and you can't help it. So um, I, in order to help with my confidence in producing expensive art and charging uh, whatever it was for my course but it took me a while to build that confidence up and I wasn't in that same position you know a year ago so I had to work on myself I had to work on my mindset and um, I have whiteboards all over the house I have vision boards I have affirmations everywhere I it's important the thoughts that you think are positive and nurturing towards yourself and that they're not you know you can't do this you um you're not good enough you're not worthy so because your thinking can be affected on a day-to-day -day basis by things that go on it's important i feel as an artist to really prioritize that and so every day i am writing my gratitude journal and I'm saying my affirmations and I am building my confidence on a day to day basis. Um, and I think that that has really helped me with my whole journey in course creation and in building a really good business for my art. I'm really glad you shared that. So you do a daily gratitude journaling practice? Yes, I do. And you do that every morning? Uh, yes, and throughout the day as well. Wow. Yeah. And throughout the day, do you do it when you're feeling that you just need to lift your vibration or? I um I do it in the studio. So before I start my art, I almost kind of bless it in the sense not bless it, but um I just be so grateful for being in this room with my paints and my canvas and the quiet and the opportunity to paint. And I just think I am so so lucky, and I just get overwhelmed with gratitude for this opportunity of being able to follow my dream, and uh, then that's when I create my best art and sometimes when when I don't do that you know I struggle and I get grumpy and and then I realize hold on a minute I haven't done the I haven't been grateful for being here in this moment mm. I haven't done that so and it just lifts your vibration automatically that's Gratitude beautiful is the most powerful tool to help your whole life really but especially in art I mean every artist who is painting has um has such a wonderful gift just to have the paint at their hands and their canvas and just to be able to express themselves in whatever way they want um it is where i think we're very lucky to be creatives like that and um i think that recognizing that is a wonderful thing to do as well that's beautiful kira thank you so much i think that's going to help a lot of people today what you just shared. I know that there's a lot of artists listening who think only if, if only I had a bigger Instagram following or you see artists yeah. who might be talking about their collections and their sales on Instagram. And because that's where you, what you see, you think that's how it's done. But really that what they post on Instagram is the artists who release collections and who have um, a lot of success selling their collections. Most of the sales are through their email list. Yeah. And I've I mean, spoken to many artists who have big followings on Instagram and has that appearance of it's happening on Instagram, yeah. like Emily Jeffords and Amira Rahim and others. And when you talk to them, it's really, yes, there is some benefit of posting on Instagram, but most mm -hmm. of the sales are happening through the emails. And that's yeah. what people don't see and don't realize. That's right. And that was one of the, again, another key learning point uh, for me. And so I only had an email list of, I think about a hundred when I first started and now it's almost at a thousand. And that's wow. Through, yeah. So that's through using my lead magnets, which is, which are freebies, which I offer on my website. Um, I have um, a guide on um, the six secrets to developing your signature style. And I also have my art supply list. And both of those have helped me increase my email list over the last, so that's only really three or four months. So that's been amazing. Yeah. And again, 
the supply list. It was <laughs> get the supply list out there. It was it was um, your first um, brilliant uh, set of advice to me, and um, so that worked like magic. And oh my yeah, list just for my course in particular because the artists um, who would have been interested in signing up for my course want to know what supplies I use and what equipment I use, and that worked really well for attracting the right type of customer for my art course. Yeah, it's super important to you, number one, not overthink what that free thing needs to be. And yeah. number two, it has to be in alignment with what it is that you're selling. Yeah. So it can't be enter for a free iPad. You can build a huge email list, but none of those people are interested. They're signing up for your list for the free iPad. So when you make it something that's super aligned with what it is you're ultimately selling, um, and just keep it simple. Don't overthink it. Yeah. Don't overdo it. Yeah, I love that. All right. I think this is going to help a lot of people, Kira. We covered some really good ideas for how to keep a positive mindset, how you use your gratitude practice, using a simple freebie, making sure you're making the everything that you're promoting, making it about them, not about us. Yeah. All right, so this is a beautiful place to wrap up. Why don't you share with our listeners about your abstract art evolution? What is the, the promise of that course? So the course is eight weeks long and um, it is basically, it. I tell you and show you everything that I learned and discovered to help me get from being pretty not rubbishy but i was really beginner and amateur and basically up to a professional level within well 18 months so um i learned so many different things and i decided to put them all together in this course but what i really wanted to do in the course was make sure that what i was sharing was easy to understand easy to implement and quick to implement so that you get results really really quickly so if you do one module and you implement that you're going to see results right then and the, then it will build and build and build until you have got all these critical aspects of improving your abstract art and that you're able to integrate them into your practice and that you will see a definite improvement in your art practice and get you ready to if you want sell your art and um, run your art business and um, get into galleries whatever it is um, just being um, confident enough to do that and feeling really confident in the quality of your art so that that's, is what that's beautiful art. all right and if they go to your website will they be able to find information about either the free supply list or the next time the course opens yeah so abstract art evolution is the students are in at the minute and if you want to get on the waiting list for that if you just go to my website uh, kira gilmore.com and just go to the tab which says art courses and just pop your name in there and um, you'll get on the waiting list and also there is on that same page you can sign up to get my free art supply list and my free guide for unlocking your signature art style all right fantastic and don't forget if you like this episode check out the artist incubator you'll have my eyes on your art business so I can help you re make your dreams real and thrive. So if you want to apply, go to shulmanart.com forward slash biz. That's biz as in B-I-Z. By the way, there's no rejection either. If you are a good fit, I'll recommend we get on the phone and chat some more. If I think you're a better fit for self-study, I'll recommend that. So no such thing as being rejected, just making sure that you only sign up for programs that are a good fit for you. I have your interest at heart. All right. So Kira, do you have any last words before we call this complete? Well, I just wanted to say that, you know what? I think that as an artist, you are better than you think you are. Don't compare yourself to other artists. Be inspired by them, but don't compare yourself. And you are truly worthy to be the best possible artist that you can be and build a business, whatever you want. Just have that self-belief in yourself. It just Keep painting, practice, and it will come, but you are worth it. You are worthy of this because I think that deep down, we are so self-critical. We're always 
so negative about ourselves, just take that inner critic voice, throw it out the window and just tell yourself that you are good enough and that you are worth this and just keep going. Take one step at a time and be kind to yourself. All right. That's a beautiful place to end. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your wisdom with everybody. I do this all the time, but it, it's not easy to do it for the first time. Am I right? Yeah. No, yeah. It's yeah. My little, first podcast. You're a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I really appreciate you coming on here. All right. So if you enjoyed today's show, go ahead and share it on Instagram. All right, my passion maker. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I'll see you the same time, same place next week. Stay inspired. Bye.